Hey there, it's Billy Tarasio from Modern Law Practice. And yes, it has been a while, but it is good to see you. Today I had my first Zoom trial, like full-blown three-hour evidentiary hearing. I've done some um, some hearings before, but they were mostly non-evidentiary. And that's probably why one of the reasons why I'm doing videos because I actually look like a lawyer today, which is so nice. Different than how I've been looking, usually. Um, so, what are some lessons from the Zoom hearing today? It wasn't Zoom, it was GoToMeeting, but the same, you know, the, the, the generally speaking, it's the same issue, video. How comfortable you are with video matters, and it matters more now than ever. Um, the other lawyer was older and much less uh, comfortable with video. When my client was um, on video from his house, I was on video from my office. Um, he was at his office, the other lawyer was at his office with his client and they were both wearing masks and then there was an IT administrator also wearing masks. So his computer was here um, with him sitting, you know, way back here, which meant he couldn't reach mute. He couldn't turn his video off and on. He actually couldn't get the video to work. We started 10 minutes late because they did, they had technical problems. And then when they did, um, when they did finally figure out the tech problems, the setup was just less, less than ideal. So they ended up taking their masks off, which is probably good. You don't really want to have a zoom hearing wearing masks. Um, you probably don't want to have any hearing wearing masks, but the nice thing about doing this via video or zoom is, the, the judge got to see my face like this and got to see my client's face like this. And then the other lawyer and the client were a good, you know, a lot of ways back and the sound was messed up for them. It was just less than ideal. So going through the preparation of um, the exhibits with your client and, and the setup was really good. Now I had Zoom open, which I used to prepare my client before the hearing and we use that for chat so that we could chat one another um, during the hearing and that was just muted and there was no video but we left it open for chat you could do the same thing via text if you wanted to do it that way but you need to figure out a way to to um, communicate with your client um, all in all it went really well for my client um, and and I think that it's if you if you have not yet spent some time getting comfortable with the video you can't do too much you probably need to do more and um, investing in some lighting and some sound is going to be really helpful as well as going through your client, you know, how your exhibits are set up and that sort of thing. So that is all for now. I feel like I have more updates, so I'm going to do a second video and we'll talk soon.